everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a video all about a one month prediction. So this is gonna be what's gonna happen for you guys within one month. So this is good for you guys who are waiting on something, who want a little bit of a miracle, who want something good to come in, or are just curious about what is gonna be happening within the next month or so. So let's get started. We have a group number one with a Selenite, group two with a Clear Quartz, group three with a Pyrite, and group number four with a Scholar Sight. So, Let's get started. We're gonna start off with group number one with the Selenite. Also, if you'd like to check out my rates and my crystal shop, all that information will be down below if you would like to book a reading with me, or if you'd like to just check out my crystal shop, then all of that is down below. So let's get started with group number one with the Selenite. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. You guys chose the beautiful little Selenite ball. So we're gonna start off with the tarot card and we're gonna see what you are mainly attracting. Okay, so we have the Six of Cups, and then let's see what else we have. So we have Pisces. So Pisces is very much about the kind of esoteric. It's very much about the psychic energy. So let's see what else we have here. Okay, we have Venus. Let's get one more. And then we have the Full Moon. Okay, I think I want to pull some more cards before we have a look. So let's have a look and see with the playing cards. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. We have the uh, Knight of Cups. Could be a page, but I see it as a knight sometimes, depending on my mood. Nine of... Um, cups king of swords four of swords five of swords so there's a lot of swords going on which indicates to me that you guys are going through a lot of mental emotional conflict um i'm hearing this is very very normal because what it's doing is it's shooting you towards something very much out of your comfort zone but it's going it's actually you're going into your comfort zone like every time we're being forced to get somewhere else it's because we're being forced to see something from a different viewpoint so let's get you a couple more cards. I'm just going to clarify everything. There we go. We have patience, which is always a card I always say to my clients when I'm doing readings for them. Feel free to laugh. Feel free to roll your eyes. You know, the patience card is a bit of a doozy. She's a bit of a doozy. Guidance. And then let's get one more. Okay. So there's definitely a fear of the future. I do feel as if a lot of you guys are going through a lot of transitions with relationships um, and how it relates to your self-worth. This is, doesn't have to be to do with um, partnerships. Okay, I just want to clarify that. It doesn't actually have to do with that at all. Um, it can be to do with your family life. It can be to do with people you live with, um, neighbours, things like that. It doesn't have to be like people who um are like immediately connected to you because not everyone's in a relationship and also we don't always have relationship issues so what i'm seeing is um you're being really shaken up and um, within the next month or so i see you guys shifting the way um this is happening for you so what i feel is if this could be a little bit more than a month but i don't see you being in this energy for too long i feel as if within the month or so um you're going to you're basically being pushed to be more of your <laughs> feminine I went for a feminine self but I felt like it's to do with your financial self as well I feel like you're being pushed to financially go somewhere different um, for some of you guys for others of you I think it's to do with your feminine side and how you are relating to other people and are you getting your needs met are you expressing yourself enough um, that sort of thing that's kind of what I'm picking up on and I feel as if you are basically waiting. This is basically a waiting game for you guys. So can you tell me what's happening after this? Sixth house of service. Let's get another one. And we have lunar eclipse. So I feel like it's to do with you and your health. It's to do with you and your mindset. I feel like for a lot of you guys, I'm picking up by December. So this is a timeless reading. So it could be within the next two months or three months that you manifest a new way of being and relating to your life. So what I'm seeing is a new relationship coming in, a new house, 
a new job, there's something that is really shifting your entire life. You're being like scooped up and plopped somewhere else. So we kind of like to grip onto things that we know. Basically what's happening is you're being uprooted. So these roots that are in the ground, kind of like when you uproot a plant, you've got to dig deep and really kind of cut the roots. If your roots, are feel, if you feel like your roots are being cut right now and you feel like, oh my God, what the fuck is happening? this is okay it's kind of like the fear of like oh my god i don't want to be i don't want to be taken away i don't want to be taken away and then once it's plopped into a new plant pot it's like don't feel anything anymore it's kind of like those screaming plants from harry potter where they lift them up by their their hair and it, or the roots or whatever the the branches and they lift them up and they start screaming and then you put them in the pot and you just put, put all the soil on they're fine like that's literally what you guys are going through right now is you're being like literally clawed out of the ground and pulled out that is why everything feels really unnerving there's a lot of people around you there's a lot of different people with different types of personalities that are re-triggering you so what i feel is if there's somebody possibly with venus in pisces that's triggering you the most what i'm seeing is basically you're being um, push to a new direction. I don't see the new direction being something specific. I feel like it's more to do with your mentality. I just feel like, I feel like I want to get some clarification. Let's get another card. Okay. Let's get you one of these. Okay. I want to pick a couple of animal cards as well. I'm picking up a black cat. It's like a massive, massive omen for you lovely so you guys are going for a lot of mental shit <laughs> you're going for a mental shit shift so you're basically feels really uncomfortable but i'm feeling like you're actually going to manifest a really 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 beautiful relationship out of this this feels like you're getting ready for a, a mental shift and you're no longer putting up with people who are just really really rough and really wrong for you and people who just make you feel like rubbish and I feel like the best thing for you to do is to do anything that brings you a shit ton of pleasure because there's a sense of really being bogged down. So if you want to kind of come out of this situation, the best thing you can do is do anything that makes you feel calm, like as soon as, like as, soon as possible, because there's nothing that you ha actually have to do properly that's going to stop you or going to bring this in quicker. It literally is just a timing thing. But what I'm feeling is you are definitely coming into a new relationship. And this doesn't have to be a new relationship it's in a partnership. For some of you, it 100% will be. But for a lot of you guys, if you don't even want a relationship or that's not really on your mind, you're changing as a person. So everything that you're doing is going to shift in your next thing that you're going to be doing. I feel like it's to do with you. You're having to be just very, very uncomfortable right now, especially in your career, relationship or home life. And... This will not last forever. I see that basically you're having to adjust to every situation. And then once you get, once the planet, it feels like a planetary shift. Once some sort of planet goes into, goes station, it could be a planet needs to go station, needs to go forward. It is no longer in retrograde. That's going to be when things start shifting for you. That's why I feel like this is a very natural process. This isn't something you actually can really do anything about, which I know sucks. Sorry guys, this isn't really reading. That is good that you really enjoy but I hope you're still getting something out of it anyway. I just feel like you are basically being picked up and put somewhere new and it is fucking intense. It's really, really, really good though. Like this, I don't have any kind of fears about this. It just feels like it's something really, really new. And for a lot of you guys, it's to do with you birthing something new. And birthing is not comfortable. You know, I've never been pregnant. I've never had a baby. And it always looks like she's holding a ball sack. <laughs> it just makes me laugh every time. Oh, you could be 37 as well. Um, <laughs> with my Scorpio humor. So it, obviously birthing is not a comfortable thing. But basically you're coming into victory. Like you are meant to come through this on the other side. And your life is going to look very, very different. Are you going to attract a safe home as well? I'm going to pull one more from this deck. Yep. So listen to your guides as much as possible. Get support wherever necessary. There may be a death going on as well for some of you guys. That is not a future prediction. You will already have gone through that. That's just confirmation that you are, you know, everything's happening for a reason. So let's see going forward what's coming towards them after this shit shift. What's going on here? Wow, you are literally changing as a person completely. Um, you're becoming much more open to new things. Um, your energy is much lighter. You're gonna feel a lot less kind of bogged down, possibly depressed. Um, you're gonna feel like a brand new person and you are gonna be very, very good at boundaries. You're gonna just 
cut the cord with people who are just are not serving you anymore like you don't have any fears about it you're just like snip 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 everyone gets a snip <laughs> like that's what i'm feeling like there's no because you don't feel comfortable around them anymore like you cannot heal in the places that you were traumatized okay so let's clear the decks and let's clear the spread and let's see um anything else that wants to come through okay but this Gemini feels really good for me. It feels like some new people are coming in. And what I feel is you are basically coming away from a shit ton of trauma that's been put on you. That's why it's so uncomfortable because you're not the person that you used to be. And if we don't know who we are, we can get really, really uncomfortable because we are so used to being in our patterns. We are so used to just the normal, the, the normal, the things that are familiar because as humans, we like the familiar. Um, luckily for us humans is we can get used to stuff quite quickly so I guess that's that's a good thing but there is definitely a part of you that wants to try and just grab everything by the balls which is good but it's also like there's nothing wrong that's happening here it just feels very very uncomfortable so let's see what else okay so okay so let's see let's see where you are show me where they are right now <laughs> just flowing along <laughs> water all around you so lots of emotions um feeling kind of overwhelmed quite like a drowning feeling but i fucking love turtles they're so cute they're so gentle this is not an energy to fear this is like it's just new it's just new it's like a any sort of thing anything new feels fucking terrifying at first but it doesn't mean it's wrong that's the thing okay but i want you to feel as comfortable as possible so just try to do anything that makes you feel comfortable like tapping like giving someone a hug like going out in nature things like that okay moving forward lovely basically you're you basically you are accepting your sensitivity and your life is adjusting around your new being because you have put your shell on for so long um it's the shell is now suffocating you it doesn't feel it's almost like um for some of you guys it's kind of when a a shell like for a snail i don't know if shells get too big for them but sorry too small for them but basically i'm seeing this this snail in a shell and it's trying to curl into the shell but it can't because it's too tight and it feels suffocating it's like why does it feel so tight it's all so overwhelming but actually if you just take yourself out of the shell you're looking at it from a bigger picture and you can see that, that is not good for you anymore you can't actually fit in it what i'm seeing is this is actually um for a lot of you guys it could be your work life or your home life because um sometimes you have to just take a step back from that home life so you need to get out of the environment for a bit um or choose prioritize yourself so you can figure out what your next step is because i feel like i feel like your next step is going to come to you naturally anyway but you are definitely needing to see things from a bigger picture because your transformation is coming very thick thick and fast and i feel like people are going to be drawn more to your light now and people who are on your wavelength um because i feel like your life has been kind of about putting a mask on and pretending to be somebody who you know you're not um but out of fear this is kind of where you've been so that's kind of what i'm feeling for a lot of you guys and the firefly and the all these all these animals are very delicate you know hawks are very very spiritual and what i'm feeling is you to come out of an environment is really uncomfortable but it will take a little bit of time just in that adjusting period but it's actually not that bad it just feels like it is because you're in it right now um but i hope that makes sense so i'm going to give you a couple more cards here just to see what else wants to pop in to the reading Re reincarnation girl that's even bigger than fucking transformation that's like a full-on new being i'm getting something to do with the dad as well the father figure in your life um you are um looking at it and you're it's almost like you're scraping i'm seeing like a dog at like a window in that uncomfortable noise where it's like tap tap but it's like a scraping sound i'm seeing you doing that but with a father figure like you're scraping away at all of the the stuff you're trying to get rid of it um that's kind of what i'm feeling and it's uncomfortable but it's necessary and it's almost just like you are you're doing the necessary stuff it's kind of like when you you know when you ask if you have kids or you you ask them to like clear up and they don't want to do it they're like oh so boring that's kind of like the energy you're in right now yeah it's fucking boring but girl it's so necessary doing the self-care work is basically what's what's happening okay this is a very deep reading guys i'm trying to keep it as light and fluffy as possible but like girl this is intense
okay so a lot of you guys are being asked to come into a new career that serves you so much better that is a spiritual type career that is going to bring you so much joy and happiness what are they clinging on to memories a lot of you guys are clinging on to memories so there's a sense of like needing to do possibly a little bit of journaling to really work with that energy oh i think it's a relationship too like this is what you're saying yes to is a relationship anything else beautiful so it's really just coming into your power that's basically what's happening it just feels very very confusing and just I'm hearing combustion, like I just want to combust <laughs> or I feel like I'm going to combust. Grateful. Yeah, that's your ticket out of the energy. It's just to be as grateful as possible. But it's not even like fake grateful, like, oh, my life is so perfect. It's like focus on tiny things you've done in that day. You know, I made myself a cup of tea. I had a shower. I, you know, had a good sleep. You know, little things like that are going to help you to come out of this energy and not feel so sucked in so that is your reading i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for being here also one last card is we have this which makes a lot of sense because that's pretty much what's going on inner earth you'll survive this new solution and beginnings hi just try and do things as different as possible guys you are being pushed to do things differently um and that's actually a way out of this situation so thank you so much for watching have a great day rate some crystal shop up below and i will speak to you very soon bye hello group number two let's get started with your reading my lovelies okay so i am picking up on a few things for you guys i'm picking up on a new move and i'm picking up on purchasing like something quite big or purchasing something in an auction okay so i feel drawn to just light some incense to kind of come into your energy a little bit more so see if i get anything when i'm cleansing my little cards here and myself okay <clears throat> let's see what's going on i definitely see you moving like i see a moving van and i see um I see some for sale signs as well. I see a stool. Let's get rid of some of the ash. Um, I see a stool. I see like people selling stuff on a stool. Um, I see you bidding for something on like eBay or something. Um, that is definitely coming up. I'm hearing someone doing this like clapping. I feel like some of you guys are going to have a graduation, which is a weird time to have a graduation because normally it's in September, but I feel like you're graduating something. Um, from college or like a course or something or um, work it's almost you're just accomplishing something and you're really really proud of yourself it's been a long time a coming okay so let's see what we have we have the high priestess so for some of you guys you're feeling a bit stuck in work um, you're feeling like you can't get your power so that is something that you are being drawn to come out of Here's a career that is just not good for you anymore. Let's see what else is coming for you in a month. Okay. We have Sagittarius and Aquarius. And we have the self. Okay, let's get a few more see what else we have going on the energies that are coming towards group number two please cute oh, i love this joy so fucking cute a little balloon love that and then we have abundance some of you guys might see that as like it because i think it has a balloon um we have abundance and we have void hmm and we have self-worth underneath you have dreams there's definitely something to do with you not overexerting your energy um not feeling like you just overexert sometimes you just kind of you put too much energy into things that are draining you and i'm getting fucking hot wow i am like burning up oh my god i thought it feels like i'm on my menopause or something and i'm like nowhere near there some of you guys might be on your menopause oh my god i'm so hot oh my god i need to use i'm gonna use one of my cars to like fan me oh girl oh my god okay all right so <clears throat> 
I see, this is a very like kind of random group. Like it's not just one particular thing. I see you mending a bond with somebody. Um, it doesn't have to be you physically see this person, but you're definitely mending a bond with somebody. Um, you're forgiving them and moving on, which is so powerful. And you're sitting so happily on your throne. Like you're able to really um, put your boundaries down. You're definitely accomplishing something though. And same with group number one, when you guys, when the planets go station, whenever you're watching this, um, when the, basically when the energy starts to shift, and I'm gonna say when the planets go station, cause that's when I'm doing this reading, um, you're gonna feel much clearer. There's something about an, an energy about like getting away from a square or a conjunction. Um, and once that starts to flow a bit more freely, especially something to do with Neptune, um, you're gonna feel a lot better, okay? So, I feel for a lot of you guys, you're going to attract a light-hearted connection that brings you out of yourself, that bring, makes you feel really good. You can meet this person through work, travel, um, online, something like that. That's what's also what I'm seeing for you guys. And is there anything else? I feel like that queen is really showing up for me. You're becoming the queen in the relationship. So any connection you have, you're becoming like a queen. And with being royalty is you have people who really stand, uh, really respect you. You're sitting on your throne, you're, st you're sitting behind the driver's seat, you know, you're no longer waiting for people to affirm to you that you're a good person, you're just, you know that. And I feel like there's a person who, if you want a relationship, I feel like there's a person who is like observing you um, from afar. So I don't know if this is somebody, it feels to me like you don't know each other. Um, I feel like very it's very much in the psychic realm. So you could dream about this person as well. Um, but I also see for some of you guys, within about a year or so, you're gonna meet somebody who you're gonna move in with, which is a really big deal for you. Um, but especially for you in particular, because you haven't had a lot of relationships that have felt very successful and you have been waiting a long time for this and you're also going to start seeing things for how they are like you're just going to start to um express yourself really openly and you're not going to kind of um block that at all you're just going to say exactly how you feel okay so let's get you a card where are you being called to journey to okay let's get one more ever unfolding rose cracked open is happening for you not to you okay so i see for a lot of you guys you'll learn to be more vulnerable in your relationship to yourself you may have like an epiphany about how you talk about yourself especially when it comes to your inner child and this can happen within a month this can happen within a year for some of you guys it possibly could be a year but it's whenever it's meant for your soul. So like it doesn't have to be within a month, but a lot of you guys have just felt like a lot of loneliness and a lot of lack, especially when it comes to your career. So what I'm feeling is don't be afraid to try something brand new. Don't be afraid to really dive into your creative side. And I also feel like travel will bring you a lot of joy. Even if it's very short term travel, travel will bring you joy. You're gonna feel a lot more freer and you're gonna feel like things is going to start appearing freer and clearer and with abundance we have Aquarius and self and I think a lot of you guys are going to start to trust yourself more um you could meet an Aquarius who's very had <laughs> self-centered oh my god who is um very independent and but they're going to give you a lot from the connection is what I'm feeling okay so what else is group number two attracting Libra eighth house and then we have the north node so the North Node being in the Libra is a really, really good placement, um, especially if it's in your eighth house. So what I'm feeling for this is to manifest connections that you want is to get intimate as, as much as you can with yourself. Um, anytime you feel uncomfortable, ask what it's showing you, what it's trying to show you, what it wants. Um, because what I'm feeling is the more you dive into yourself, the more you're gonna understand yourself and you're not gonna put up with bullshit, like you're just gonna be there for yourself fully and wholeheartedly. And when we're going into our North Node, it's basically where we're aiming for. It's what we what we need to learn in this lifetime. And for you guys, it's balance. And not to avoid intense uh, stuff and avoid conflict, because that's something that actually helps us grow a lot, okay? But you may just feel a little bit unfulfilled right now, and that's okay, you know, sometimes we go through that, but it's really about trusting yourself and realizing that it's okay, this is very temporary and those feelings are very normal. You know, it's okay to feel like that. And we'll pick up on pyrite for you guys. I know you guys didn't choose the pyrite, but I'm feeling pyrite for some of you guys. 
Okay, I'm hearing the name Daniel all of a sudden. The name Daniel's really popping up. Okie dokie. So let's get you a couple of um, animal cards and we're going to get you one of these. Let's get you one of these first. Any advice for group number two? <laughs> this has come up so much. Okay, so the light speak your truth. A lot of people that need to speak their truth. Whoa. Blue. Hi. Lots of blue. Get laser focused. Protect your energy. Okay, there's something about just getting out the, your fucking head. Like you're in your head so much. Okay, and then we have bring in the light. Okay, so you are meant to be in an environment right now to bring in the light, which I know is like kind of shit. Like <laughs> it's not really something we like to do. <coughs> I think I'm choking on my incense. Just gonna stub my incense out. Um, but yeah, for a lot of you guys, it's about, why is this incense not turning off? This is literally like some of you guys' life. Is incense will not turn off? That is so bizarre. I'm literally like attacking it. Okay, I think I did it. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Right, let's see what else is coming towards you guys. February is a really good month for you guys, I'm feeling, just in general. Okay, so trust your intuition. Um, you are meant to listen to your intuition right now because there's somebody who in your life who you really need to get away from or at least just protect your energy away from them. And there's things like, you know, wearing black tourmaline, you know, imagining a white light around you. And this doesn't always work unless you're literally out of the environment, but you can, we can do the best we can, you know. Underneath we have shadow mirror, deep healing, understanding and seer. So there's a sense of really big changes emotionally. I'm picking up on you guys need some meat in your diet. And of course, if you're a vegan or a pescatarian, of course not. But if you guys are lacking in a bit of like bit, a certain vitamin, I'd say like beef is always really good for that. If you are, you know, if you want to try that. So, okay, this is where you are right now. And let's see where you are in the future. Wow, completely different. So we have alchemy of love, peace offering, compassion, Venus energy, creativity, self-expression, life is your canvas. So what I'm seeing is you're gonna have enough money to travel and to move. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, that's a really big deal because maybe you haven't had a lot of money in the past. So what I'm seeing for you guys is the more you focus on lighter energies like love and loving yourself and things like that, you are going to feel much more easier. Life is just going to feel a lot easier for you. Okay, I want to pull... Actually, I'm kind of confused on what animal deck I want to use. I want to use like both of these. So I'm going to... We've got these two here, but I want to pull an animal card from this deck. So we have the golden egg and the firefly first. So the golden egg is showing me that you guys are first focusing on your solar plexus. There's a lot of stuff around your self-worth and things like that. And what the firefly is showing me that even though it's small, it's fucking mighty. So you may have always felt very small, but you have a massive purpose on this earth. I'm hearing, I don't care what your purpose is in terms of like, I don't care that, you know, you may be so unemployed or you don't know what your purpose is like, does not matter. You are worthy just by being here, okay? And you may feel a bit alone right now, but what you're doing is, is you're just veering off into the, to a different direction. And creativity is gonna come back into your life. And you're gonna feel much more creative. Um, I feel like you're birthing something. So sometimes when you're birthing something, you don't always know when that baby's coming. You don't know when that, you know, that food is ready from the oven. Like when it's being cooked, you can't just pull it out and eat it raw. Like you have, like the food, you can't just pull it out of the oven and just eat it raw. Like you have to wait until it's cooked. So for you, basically you're waiting for your life to be fully cooked. <laughs> um, but I feel like if you're being pushed out somewhere, trust that pull, okay? Here we go. Owl, wisdom, and foresight. In the darkness of the night, the owl keeps guard, its eyes, gl eyes glimmering with clarity and impenetrable wisdom. The owl sits, per owl sits perched between reality and the veil of the unknown, offering deliver often delivering messages between the two worlds. The owl connects you with your intuition, allowing you to see what others cannot. By turning on your dormant instincts and awakening you to your true to your pure power, the owl enables you to see through deceit to reveal the truth of a situation at hand. The owl asks that you pay attention to synchronicities as your spiritual team communicates with you on a much higher frequency than before. You will have to explore what avenues they are using to, using to speak to you and learning how to interpret those messages. 
If you dedicate yourself to this task, you'll find that you are never alone and have always been guided on this path. Trust in your innate wisdom, the magic resides within you. Boom. That is absolutely gorgeous. And then let's get you one more card. Oh my God. There's definitely a lot of eggs, lots of things about being reborn and coming out of like a hole. There's a lot of feminine energy going on. We've got the maiden as well. I think this is also to do with you taking up space, especially um, in your feminine energy, like really just like opening those legs, girl, <laughs> like really letting yourself be free. And I don't mean literally opening your legs. I mean, it can be, but it feels like to me that you are um, receiving, you're being more of yourself um, and you may push a, a few people away in terms of like people won't, might want, not want to be around you because you are putting those down those boundaries, but you'll know then who was using you basically in terms of that energy. So that's what I feel for you guys. I hope that resonates. Have a great day. Rates and crystals show up below and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. Oops, I haven't got my dice. There we go. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. You guys chose a little pie, right? So I feel like you're being, um, I'm hearing like regrouped. Um, I'm hearing your ground may be rocky, but it is stable. Okay. So we have Wheel of Fortune, lovely, and Scorpio. Wow, so you are literally ready for something new. Fully, fully ready, you're like, yep, let's go, come on, chop, chop. Got Leo as well. You're coming away from like stubborn energy, you're coming away from people who are too stubborn, who are self-centered, um, who just don't have your best interests in mind. You're being asked to really step into your power as well. Wow, so you're coming away from just really intense stuff that is just not, not yours. I feel like also is you're gonna create a new group of people, like you're gonna bring them in or you're gonna be a part of a group that's already been made. And it's because you allow those, you, you're allowing that energy to come because before you were possibly, you possibly felt quite closed off but now things are shifting for you. You're like, oh, fuck it, you know what, whatever. I've been through the worst of it, let's go, you know? That's kind of what I'm feeling. Don't let people drag you down. That's what I'm hearing. Don't let people drag you down. Okay, so we've got the Six of Pentacles. Let's see what else we have. Four of Pentacles. So there's a lot of stability going on. There's a lot of changes to do with your physical body. Got the Joker. We have the Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Six, oh sorry, Nine of Pentacles. Show me what this Wheel of Fortune is about. That's not the right one. I'm not feeling that. Okay, so I'm getting an image of, um, we have the Eight of, no, Ace of Wands, which is beautiful. I'm getting um, the scene from Harry Potter when they open the door to the common room and they have um, like a, like a, I don't know what you'd call it, like a guard, like a painting, but it's live. And it talks to it and basically guards the door and guards the common room. That's kind of what I'm feeling for you right now is you're coming up to the here, like you're walking up here and you've got all these guards and you're only allowed to go through until you have the password. And what the password is, is um, once you become, basically it's a timing thing for you. The Wheel of Fortune is like massive amounts of newness, but it's just, it has to be at that right timing. I'm hearing what's the point otherwise. So we have the um, Knight of Wands, Four of Wands, Queen of Swords. You're rethinking your stability and you're looking into stability and you're rethinking what it means for you. Um, let's see what else. There's a massive, um, what is this? Like a massive celebration coming towards you as well. You might be going to a wedding next year, next year, I feel. Um, you may be buying a new dock at some point as well. This is all in divine time. It doesn't actually have to be within the month because obviously timing is so friggin' fluid. So that's what I'm feeling as well. Some of you guys are gonna quit your job all of a sudden and then you're gonna be introduced to something new. I'm hearing it's okay to be in limbo. That's something where you're, you're allowed to be there. That's very normal. We have the mystical card. Let's get one more. 
have the light. Okay, so I feel like you're being taken care of, even if it doesn't feel like it, you're very much being taken care of. And I feel like you're seeing things for what they really are. There's no like mask. I feel like when you come out of your old environment in whatever way that is, whether that be emotionally, literally physically moving, you're going to feel completely different and you're gonna be really free and you're going to be able to then attract new things because your energy isn't so bogged down, basically. Let's get one of these. There's something about a sister, your sister, something about your sister. I'm not sure what that is. I'm hearing my sister's back, my sister's back. So those of you who have a sister, that could be your uh, message there. So you have safe, release and dream. I actually feel like you're being pushed to like really trust yourself in this. There's, it's very, very vague. I'm sorry, these readings have been very vague today, but I'm really trying to ground the energy and see what's going on, but it, they're not being very, uh, being very general. Okay, so you could meet someone who's a Libra. We have a friend who's a Libra. I also see you attracting balanced friendships um, within the next three months, balanced friendships. This is the South Node. So you're coming away from people who are very manipulative, who are negative, who are very critical, who um, poke at other people for enjoyment, gossip, things like that. Um, you're also going to be manifesting a nice group online as well because the 11th house is to do with inter the internet, things like that. And I feel like you put, could possibly meet someone online, from online into the physical, like into the physical world. I see that there's somebody on the other side of your transformation who wants to come and meet you. And this is gonna be most likely, like I said again, within a year, um, there's a new relationship that wants to come into your life that won't come in until you're very much ready. I'm hearing you are so fucking capable um, I'm hearing, I know you're being stretched, but you're so fucking capable. Okay. Right. So a lot of you guys are, are witchy, like you are witches. You um, say to yourself, I'm a witch, I'm a witch. A lot of you guys need to make sure you're cleansing enough. I think some of you guys are very bogged down because you're not cleansing enough. Um, need to be in water, being around water, even being around water is very, very cleansing um, because you get the negative ions off the water. That is really, really good for you, okay? Um, I also feel like black onyx, one million percent is amazing for you right now. Black onyx will protect you very much, okay? Right, let's get you some more cards. So we have manifestation, goals, individuality. So your goal right now is to become as individual as possible, to prove, to, to show yourself that you are fucking amazing and you are deserving of love, okay? And the, the love part is very, very important. Um, this is to do with you not feeling so alone. Um, I think part of you is learning to love itself. That's why it feels so uncomfortable, because it's like, oh, I've never done this before. But it's all right, it's okay to do that. So, pick up the number 24. Oops. Okay, so you are coming out of becoming of service for people all the time. Um, burning yourself out, wearing yourself out, feeling like you're almost dying because you're doing too much, to um, allowing things to come to you, realizing that you can trust the universe and if it's meant to happen, it will. And a lot of you guys are very fucking spiritual and you have a lot of um, you have a lot of advice to tell people. So don't be afraid to really express that because a lot of people do need to know what you're what you're needing to say. Um, they do need to know what it is. Okay. What lights you up? Take a break. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking, keep facing your true north. Everything you're doing right now is absolutely perfect, okay? You're not doing anything wrong. 
and it's all coming together. Your soul tribe is on their way. They're just taking their sweet, sweet time. <laughs> like I say, it's kind of like when you cook something, it's like you've got to wait until that thing is cooked. You can't just whip it out. I don't know if I said this for for two or three, um, but basically when you cook something, you can't just whip it out when it's not ready and eat it. It's going to taste disgusting. The most likely you're going to get salmonella. So what I feel for you guys is you have to let things brew on their own timing. Yes, is it uncomfortable? Fuck yeah, it's really uncomfortable, but um, you are basically going to feel a lot happier very soon, okay? I'm gonna get you an animal card from this deck, Cosmic Creatures, I love this deck, so let's see. <sighs> I'm seeing somebody in like a tent, like pulling like cards, <laughs> like a little like fortune teller and she's like having the best time. So that's cute. Okay, so we have the panda. This is tranquility, yin and yang and zen. In a state of zen, the panda likes nothing more than to chew on bamboo, nourishing itself with proper nutrients and easing into the comfort of the moment. The panda shows that you don't need to live in excess and bear and the bare minimum. Okay. The panda shows that you don't need to live in excess and the bare minimum will suffice. Removing complexity could lead to greater joy. In other words, keep it simple. The black and white fur of the panda indicates contrast and duality of yin and yang. The integration of both feminine and masculine energies. No matter what gender you are, these energies exist in all of us. And by tapping into them, we learn to balance these parts of ourselves to become whole. The hard edges of black against white also underscore the importance of placing boundaries, especially with yourself. Have you been active from a place of integrity? Resolve the inner conflict and instill peace by aligning your actions with your values. Part of what you're ha what's happening is you're being really hard on yourself and it's making it's literally straining you. You're literally straining yourself. So stop trying to force too much because you will burn yourself out. Okay. Anything else? Last card. Yes. Whatever you're trying to figure out right now, it will fucking resolve itself. You will feel a little bit of conflict right now, but it will resolve itself. Okay, my lovelies. Have a great day. Great and crystal shot are below and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Let's get started with your reading. You guys chose the Scholar Sight Crystal. This is a really interesting one. She's got interesting vibes. She's like a little multifaceted being. Okay, boom. Second house, boom, the Empress. So this is in the reverse, but I feel they need to kind of like look at it from both sides. Um, I feel that's kind of your energy as well. What the, with the situation you're in is looking at it from both sides. Try lots of different things because you might be surprised at what you get. For you, it's actually more about trial and error than anything else. So if you want a job but you don't know what one to go in, try a couple of things. Don't do something you know you don't like. Like if you genuinely aren't sure, get into it with curiosity. Sometimes you're meant to just be unsure because if it's not an immediate yes, then maybe you'd say no, but it really is about figuring out what your intuition is trying to tell you. Get curious about what your intuition is trying to tell you, okay? So you're definitely moving house. A lot of you guys are moving house. Um, a lot of you guys are changing up the way you attract money. Um, you may end up doing another job and another job on the side where you're doing a job and you're attracting money differently. So you're doing a job that is um, much more fun and more creative and that's really new, that's really new for you and very different. Um, you're gonna have a sudden download of something to do creatively and you could earn money out of that, okay? Um, and yes, it could happen as quickly as a month, <laughs> all right? So with Taurus and value, I see you guys um, changing up the way your stability is, especially around the home. Um, you may have felt a lot of struggle and a lot of conflict around the home. You are now putting yourself in the driver's seat and you're making sure that you're no longer being manipulated, especially if you have around a toxic people around you. A lot of you guys are trying to take the wheel and you're you are making you're basically believing in yourself that you um, deserve to feel comfortable and you are changing your home life you are clearing out a lot you're clearing out some old stuff um, I feel like also you're becoming much more grounded with your money you're saving much more you are trying to get more um, organized with it you might be doing your taxes or something like that um, not tax, is it taxes yeah your taxes like your um, yeah, like your income. Um, yeah, and, oh, we just burp, sorry guys. Um, with the second house, that's probably clarification. The second house is also like, I feel it's to do with what you value and your work and your job or possibly just your life is gonna fucking look different to everyone. 
You are not meant to be like them. I'm hearing stop fucking trying to be them. You are not that person. I'm hearing that's why you're so fucking miserable, girl, because you're trying to be like them. You're trying to be them and you're not them. And why would you want to be like them anyway? Because you have your own opinions, you have your own views, and that's much more important than people trying to trying to basically be like somebody else. Okay, so let's get you some more cards. Beautiful. So you are learning to be much more comfortable in your feminine energy, which is nurturing, but with boundaries, you know, and that's really, really good. And if people don't appreciate that, they are not meant to be in your life, girl, because you are a very gentle and very generous person. If people can't see that, they are not meant to be here. Okay, <laughs> not meant to be in your life. Um, not be here, but like in your life. Um, and a lot of you guys have just felt very lonely recently. And I want you to do more self-care. If you are burning yourself out, you do need to do more self-care. You need to do more things that bring you a lot of more self-care um, because you're burning yourself out a bit too much, okay? So I feel drawn to pull some more tarot cards. Normally I pull my little um, playing cards, but I really wanna pull some, just some general tarot. Let's see what's going on, whoops. Like pulling the whole the whole thing. Okay. Whoa, that came out really smooth. Okay, so you're making a decision on something. You're really secure about it. So that's good. So whatever you've been waiting on, you you know what it is. You know what it is. Is what it's coming. Yeah, you've been through quite a hard time, but things are really picking up now. Some of you guys are going to buy a motorbike. Just saw. Okay, so there's gonna be a male who's gonna be really powerful, who they're gonna help you in this situation too. Uh, I'm seeing a strong masculine help and you're gonna feel really good. This person could be a leader, they could be a leader of a group, they could be your boss, um, could be a landlord. Somebody who is really, really nice. They're actually really, really kind and they have some really good intentions. And this person is basically helping you take the will. They're supporting you. It could be even be a partner that, you, that you're with, could be a new relationship coming in, something like that. So your journey right now is to be the way shower. Your journey right now is to shake up the system. Anything you think is wrong, shake it up, okay? Don't try to be like anyone else. Don't try to um, pretend you're, you're like anyone else. For you is to clear comparison. A lot of you guys have a lot of weight on your shoulders. Like I'm getting pain in my left shoulder and my shoulder blade and it's really painful. It feels like you guys are really taking on a lot. Um, you're trying to be the adult when actually you feel like the child sometimes and I feel like for some of you guys is you're actually around people who make your life even harder. So if people make your life harder, it's not worth being around people like that, trust me. It really, 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 really isn't. Okay. Your guidance is the valid guided. Okay, let's see. So you've got an ancestor in spirit, most likely someone who's passed on. Um, it could be that it's your birthday soon or their birthday soon and they are going to be around you. That's what I wanted to say with that. That's literally it. That is all, that is all. Let's see, let's get you a couple more cards. You're being asked to really speak your truth as well. You can like your passion, beautiful, go deeper. Okay, so I'm seeing like do some creative projects. You guys have been very bogged down. Within a month is really good to do some creative projects. This will help you express yourself, heal your heart. Um, there's a sense of like having a lot of alone time and to be very patient with your emotions. You're going through a shit ton. So just be very, very patient with your, um, with your journey right now. <clears throat> okay, so let's get some more cards. Let's get you a couple of animal cards. Do you like my animal cards? Some of you guys, you might move in with someone. <clears throat> um, let's see. I'm hearing you can expect a big change. Also, some of you guys might end up getting pregnant. It's because your individual, your actual individuality is changing and around this area. So, because you're now becoming the mother, not so much just um, a singular person, human, you are now a mother, you have that kind of like um, title. So that could be that, okay. I'm hearing they really appreciate me. You're gonna attract someone who really genuinely appreciates you which is what you fucking deserve because you I don't think you've actually had that yet or you've never really felt appreciated. Okay. So this is the throat chakra and my throat was really itching. 
um, earlier. So, okay, so you're definitely being asked to listen to your intuition and also just um, meditate more and just be more in that spiritual energy because it's very supportive of you and you're going through like a shedding. So these two are basically like the where you are now, where you are in the future. This is a really confident spiritual person or someone who just has very strong beliefs and they believe in it very, very concrete. Um, for you guys, this is about you making sure that you're listening to your guides and your, your own spiritual guidance. And for some of you guys, you need to let it out. You need to vent it out. Some of you guys need to speak out what you're feeling. Okay. Anything else coming towards group number... Let's get some more. Group number uh, four. Okay, so we have Libra, Venus, fourth house. And then we have the... Oops. Have the sixth house, eleventh house, Jupiter. Okay, 46, 64 numbers for you. Um, if if and when Jupiter's in Libra, that's a really good time for you to manifest love. Um, I also see that once you stop comparing yourself to other people, you're going to manifest a lot of really nice people because I feel like your worth is just based on what other people, how other people see you. And they actually don't, their opinions don't even matter because their opinions is based on their beliefs, like what they've personally gone through. So if they've gone through shit and they haven't sorted it out, they're going to project that onto you and make you feel like shit. But it's actually nothing to do with you. So I feel like for you guys, you could have Libra in the fourth house, Libra Venus. Um, but for a lot of you guys, it's to do with coming away from old beliefs around your family and work out as well. You need to work out because this is going to help you release a lot of that old stagnant energy. Okay. All right. Let's get you a card from this book. It's your guidance. Hearing like um, a fireman. We're like a fireman. Okay, so we got this one for group number three. So I will read this one again for group number four. Um, and I'll get another one as well for you guys. Okay. Panda, tranquility, yin and yang and zen. In a state of zen, the panda likes nothing more than to chew on bamboo, nourishing itself with proper nutrients and easing into the comfort of the moment. The panda shows that you don't need to live in excess and the bare minimum will, sac will suffice. Not sacrifice, <laughs> suffice. Removing complexity would lead to greater joy. In other words, keep it simple. The black and white fur of the panda indicates contrast, the duality of yin and yang, the integration of both feminine and masculine energies. No matter what gender you are, these energies exist in all of us. And by tapping into them, we learn to balance these parts of ourselves to become whole. The hard edges of black against white also underscore the importance of placing boundaries, especially with yourself. Have you been acting from a place of integrity? Resolve the inner conflict and instill peace by aligning your actions with your values. I'm also feeling like make a concoction. So it could be you're putting loads of stuff into making oil for yourself. It could be something to do with uh, making, um, what's that? Uh, just cooking generally for yourself, like putting those things in a pot. I'm seeing like making lots of things and putting it in one thing, okay? Guidance for group number four, moving forward. No, that's not it. Beautiful. Stillness, patience, and strategy. The praying mantis waits patiently <clears throat> among the blades of grass, looking for the right time to strike and make its move. I'm also hearing Fields of Gold by... I don't know her name. Um, <laughs> the praying mantis teaches you to be still, to expand the possibilities encapsulated in the moment in front of you. The praying mantis strategy is to plan ahead, looking at all the possible ways to get to its desired outcome. There is no linear path, but there are multiple doorways to walk through. The praying mantis asks that you release the how and connect to the why of your desires. Think about the ecosystem and everyone who is affected by your actions. The smallest ripple can create a big wave, with your decisions having more impact on others than you may realise. In this stillness, you can connect to the power within and attract the right cosmic energies to help you on your quest. When you release control, the universe grants you many gifts. That is your reading, guys. Have a great day, and I'll speak to you soon. Rates in Crystal Shop are below. Much love. Bye.